Good morning and welcome to Mom and Ed in the Morning as we do the fra Fraggle Rock version of Star Trek Online. Speaking of, today Kumquat visits the library. Well, not exactly. <clears throat> Let's see, excess mail. New. Not there. There we go. Let's see how many of these she's read. Oh my goodness, she reads so much. Okay, two back. She's been reading so much lately. Actually, what's going on is I'm trying to get all the chips on one tune. Yeah, I've been playing this forever, since the game started 11 plus years now. And I don't have a single tune that's got all of the uh, lore chips. So I've made a dedicated effort to try and send each of my tunes over to the library every day and get a chip. And it goes to the oldest tune first, trying to get hers done. And if she has read it, and I can't use it, it goes to this one next. And if she's read it, it goes to... So there's this order of who gets what. It's going to take a while to get through all these. So let's see. Here's the challenge with this big gun. Jump up there. Jump. There we go. Might as well get some free money while we're here. Uh, oops, that's not what I meant to do. Which organization is attempting to restore B for the Soong Foundation? Yep. Try not to go and get the answers. Turn that back in. Oh, that's an interesting sound. Hang on a sec. Um, is that my phone? Can you guys hear that? There's a background hum sound. That or my brain's failing. That's, that's really weird. Okay, I'll just have to live with that one for a while. It's coming from outside. Yeah, I know. She just went to the library, but she's not allowed to open the books first. All must send the books to Mom first. Did I not pick up the book? There it is. I hate it when the blank out like that. It's very annoying. Alright, let's jump over to Petty Cash just for a moment, since he's next in the sequence.
By the way, if you need triple carpus, carpuses, carcasses, because you know that's going to pop up one of these days, um, we have been supplying plenty of them to the uh, Klingon fleet bank, so please help yourself. Go. And if you need any carcasses, well, let me know. I'm in the process of cooking some up for everybody. But I need more food and I need more tribbles. So rather than just shoving them out the airlock, send them to me. I know Ed's here, but he's probably doing coffee or doing something in real life, I hope. So let's see. Well, we're here. Contact. Let's see what we got for... Uh, Events of the day. Let's get back to Kumquat. And, you yeah, know, it's in Kathy ships, Voth ships, and Herc frigates. I think we're going to leave that for a different tune. However, Much as I love the sprocket, it might be time to look for a new ship. Since we have a few. What would be a good ship? No, I think we're going to dry dock or discharge that one. And acquire ships. Manage ships? No. Acquire ships. There we go. I think we've gone through everything we're entitled to. Yeah, we're through all those. So let's look at event ships. Nope, nope, nope. We'll do event ships first. Don't know that we'll do this today, but... Ships. Okay, so we've got the Jirak Jir Alliance, the Eisenberg, Mirgagarn. Uh, we have a bunch of ships here. What shall we do? Wolfie, we were at the library. We went over and got ourselves a chip. And we did some reading. And did I save any of them? Nope. And of course, being good fraggles, we put them back on the shelf when we were done with them. Because, you know, that's what we do. Yeah, let's go ahead and take that one. Go ahead and take that one. out a little inventory here. I know Ed was on earlier. I can see that he's on. He's just not here at the moment. In real life may have bounced in his way today. Heaven knows it never happens to me where my real life interferes with doing anything else. <laughs> so Wolfie, what's going on is none of my tunes have all of the chips for the lore accolades. So all of these here. Uh, let me jump over to Kethma and you can see what my fun is right now. Kethma's my oldest tune. She was my original tune in beta. And I'm I'm okay today. I've st I'm still dealing with not enough sleep and some bad headaches. So I'm probably not going to show do a show tonight. I'm just going to chill out. Snooze in just a little bit. Um, or accolades. Oh, um, I have some down on Icon, not Icon, a new Romulus to do. I still have 
two full volumes of the history of New Romulus. Let's see, what is in progress? Oops, let's go that way. So I've got a bunch of these, but look at all the paths to 2409. I've still got all these volumes that aren't done, and most of them just have one chapter that's missing. Of course, those are the hard chapters to find. And yes, I have tried going through the exchange, and most of them simply aren't there. So that's my library project, is I need to get all of these done. And I've been doing this since they started it, but not in a dedicated manner. So now all of my tunes go to the library, either here or New Romulus, every day. And they play the book game. Send them all to Kethma. Whatever she hasn't read goes to Kumquat. Whatever she hasn't read goes to Petty Cash and down the line. And once Kethma's completely done, then we'll go grab another primary <coughs> who hasn't done it. Probably we'll take Kethla, my first Klingon. <coughs> and go down the line. I'm hoping this is an allergy that's coming on. And again, if it's a cold, I could have an excuse to work from the house and not infect anybody. That would be so much fun. So let's just check and make sure Ed's still with us. Ed is in Drozana. Yeah, it looks like Ed's probably stepped away for the moment. No worries. That does bring us to what ship are we going to use next? Okay, so we have all of these event ships that my tune has never opened, except for the Bajoran Interceptor. That's what we're doing at the moment. Chronum Science Vessel might be good. We just did Delta Quadrant, so the Kabali ship might be fun. I just don't know where we're going to go. Oops, let's get back down there. Let's grab that one. We'll take that transponder that's always nice to have. And the thing is that my little sprocket is such a cute little ship. Okay, she's massively underpowered. But it's a good little ship. Uh, the headaches will go away when I get enough sleep, which will be... Uh, September? I was thinking it'd be better when I get to Chicago, but to do this show, well, while we start at 6 a.m. here, that's 5 a.m. in Chicago. That means getting up at 4 a.m. And at that point we need to really think about changing the evening shows and no there's it is not a win-win situation so let's see what should we do about getting some better weapons what have we got for money we got a little bit of EC oh, actually actually let's do something else we need to work on reputation Let's do this first. All this requires some marks, so I think we need to open up some marks. And we just happen to have some. And we don't get marks for the green ones, do we? Oh, we do! Okay, let's start there. Yeah, I save all of the uh, packages and give them to one tune. So we got three marks packages. Four marks packages. Five. Six. So Mark's packages drop at a rate of about 6%. The nice thing is out of these 100 I've been able to pick up over 5 million EC so far. Let's see what the ending number is here. 
Uh, 19,000 into lithium so far. 21,000 into lithium, personal endeavor. Almost 7,000 in EC, and this is just on the green boxes. Last one. Here. Okay, so almost 10 mil and 9 million in energy credits, personal endeavors, 26,000 in lithium. So not bad. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15. So about 15, you know, 7.5% are going to be marks packages. So let's get some marks. That's on green boxes, by the way. I think the odds improve on blues and purples, respectively. And yeah, I've got a ton of gold boxes, too, but we'll open those later. You always reserve them for when you need stuff. All right, what do I need? Let's start with some gammas. Competitives. New caries. Uh, Tyran. Undine. Uh, Omegas. Nukara. Dyson. Okay, everybody's got some now. Oh, Discovery. Discovery, darn you. There you are, Discovery. Okay. Another Discovery then, because we're going to use that. The most competitives we use. Ooh, we have a lot of those. Competitive? I've tried competitive. They've got some good toys. Ooh, we got a lot of those. We're going to cheat and take a bunch for Discovery. Gamma, Lucari. All right, now we've got some. And now I've got 13 million. So. One sec here. I have a belief that my tune should never have more than 5 million spending on them. There we go. Don't want them to get extravagant. You know, you go out there, if you're going to make a big decision, you should make a decision that's well thought out. Try to teach them to be good officers, not just spend money, just because they have it. And if Ed doesn't join us, we're going to go off and do one of the uh, earlier missions that we skipped because they're solos. Which sadly is a lot of the Dyson Sphere and a lot of Delta. Hello. Hi, Ed. How are you? I was totally distracted in the tailor and oh. forgot. Did you get some cool looking clothes? Um, <clears throat> um uh, usually again, um, managing costumes. <laughs> well, it, it is the name of the game, Space Barbies. Yeah, but this is um, really have to uh, set up the um, see if mom is there um, alarm uh, closer <laughs> to because um, 50 minutes later uh, currently it's like uh, attention span of an average goldfish. Goldfish can remember stuff. People don't give goldfish sufficient credit. Why does that not want to work? Huh. I Wait. actually did all all, all Crumpet's uh, pre-stuff errands, just forgot ah, time. That's okay. I'm not offended. I'm doing reputation. So that forced me to clean out a little of the boxes of stuff to discover how much stuff I had on hand. And uh, I opened 200 of the green rewards boxes. And about 7% had uh, Mark's boxes. 
and I made uh, 9 million in EC and 22,000 in Dilithium. So not bad for just sitting here going click, 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 click. 400 times. Click -de -voo. Yeah, click -de -voo. yeah. And I still have all the blue boxes and purple boxes and quite a few gold boxes left. Fill all darn you. There we go. And we're on our way to tier two. And Wolfie is with us today. Wolfie says hello. Hi, Wolfie. Good morning, Ed. How are you? It has shared with us in game or in uh, Discord the super elastic bubble plastic. And yes, I do remember this. My parents didn't buy it for me. But you would get these tubes of kind of soft plastic glue ish plastic stuff. And you'd get like a small amount of piece icing. You'd stick it at the end of a straw and you'd blow it up into a ball. And it was one of the weirder childhood things. So my parents did finally buy this for us, but it was one of those, it was really cool until you realized the plastic dried pretty fast in the tube. And at that time, there wasn't an easy way to get more of the plastic to make the balls. And honestly, there wasn't that much stuff that you could do with it. So my childhood favorite toy wasn't that one because of its lack of reusability, but... Um, this one. The spirograph. Did anybody else have a spirograph? Um, the painting uh, or, or drawing where, where you create all those floral or yeah, star-like. It, star -like, it was like yeah. gears. So you'd have an outer ring that had X number of teeth on it and an inner ring with a different number of teeth. And one, if you figured out the math, it was always cool because there was math and, you know, math is cool. I know I'm a nerd. They now make them, Id, with metal so the teeth don't break off. It's hard to find, but they do have a metal spirograph so the teeth don't bust off. And I bought one for one of my nieces or nephews when they turned like 21 to show them the things we played with as kids. And they love it, and they gave it to their kids when they got a little bit older. So, yeah, just an ageless toy. Yeah, and if you really want to get the mat, get a Rubik's Cube. I have students who can, or had students when I was teaching, who could do the Rubik's Cubes. They'd be looking at them, they'd check it out, check it out, and then just... One of my math teachers showed me how to solve it mathematically, he showed the equation and how you could do them all, and I'm like, darn it. And while I had the equation there, I'd do the math and come over there and just and have it done, and I can't remember the equation anymore. <laughs> um, yeah, um, there have been a variety of um, leaflets uh, with... Um, Rubik's, Rubik cube solutions and actually um, some uh, I encountered of course the mathematical theoretical thing where uh, where you have all those uh, group theory stuff but um, yeah it worked out perfectly and uh, now I forgot it and if you'll be nice uh, get them a slinky <gasps> slinkies yeah Climb stairs, mostly down downwards. So I was just responding to uh, the ninja throwing stars remark from Id. I had a student, an adult student, well, 18 years old, who would take razor blades and glue them together to make ninja throwing stars. Uh, number uh, speaking about those um uh well um two options mm -hmm. actually a razor mm -hmm. uh, but the knife size where y you see in the average um yes um 
Godfather and whatever um, genre. When it's about mafia and yes, or more something you uh, see in a Wilkinson ad. <laughs> yeah, I can just see people taking the ninja stars and let's see how close the shave can be. Phew. We did, I wouldn't let the kids use it, the little kids use it, but we did take one afternoon when it was just adults, and we went out into the parking lot with sheets of um, cardboard, and we put them up at the far end, had them propped up on some targets, and used the stars, and because they were so sharp, you'd have to hold them like this and try and get a good throw on them, holding on to this little teeny edge, because he had these things set up, so as you're throwing it, if you didn't release at the right, right moment, the blade would come up into the base of your thumb and get you. That was that was not fun. Hey, Kid Argo, hope you're okay, dear. If you need anything, uh -huh. let us know. Trying to help out other people in the fleet these days. See, I've been known I've known people to embed wooden toothpicks and copper plates by flicking them. Wow. I'm, wow. Wow. Uh, yeah, no. I can embed a knife and a piece of cardboard by flicking it, but... And we had a student, also an adult, bring in a butterfly knife and a couple of other knives. And again, when the little kids were around, those things were locked in a drawer. When the kids were gone, parking lot, cardboard, let's have some fun. But little kids playing with razor blades and butterfly knives and all that stuff was just... Just asking for trouble. I think, though, I might still have some out in my storage area here because I didn't throw everything away when I closed the school. Throw away a lot of that stuff, though. It's just like, ugh. That's just asking for danger. Well, should we do something today, Ed? I realize we've spent a good part of our day chit chatting, and I probably should go pour some fresh coffee. But we finished up Delta, right? Yeah. Uh, we finished up Delta, and it was um, about um, Uneasy Allies, if I recall Ooh. properly. Yeah, but that is... How long do you think we're going to take to do Uneasy Allies? Um, 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 it's not also, a short one. Yeah, but it's uh, half an hour should do. Okay. Well, let me grab some coffee, and then think... let's hit Uneasy Allies, because I would love to get that gear. I'll be right back. And I'm back. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have accepted that. Um, let me team up with you. There you are. Before we leave, though, Ed, I was going to switch out ships later today or tomorrow. I have been flying the Bajoran Interceptor. Do you have any... I'm just going to stick with the vent ships, though. Um, I have uh, so many. Yeah, uh, what uh, what are you in, uh, interested in going on with the pew pew way or going on with the um, space magic way? Oh, I think we need to go space magic. I mean, she is a sciencey person. Okay. Um, 
ships um, can be uh, rise and weather control. Okay. Or the um, Tapau. Well, I love the Tapau, but I've never played a lot with the rise and weather ships. So let's grab that one. Where are you? Oh, goodness gracious. Corvette, Luxury Lines, and yeah, 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 There it is. Okay. So we will uh, work on that one between this show and tomorrow's show. Okay. Speaking of, we are probably going to do a Strange New Worlds watch party at 2 a.m. So in like uh, yeah, 16 hours? What is this? This is 6.34. Uh, in 20 hours. About 20 hours we will be on 2 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, well, uh, if anything works out, I will be asleep at that yeah. moment. <laughs> That's what DT said, too. So hopefully, hopefully I'll be awake for it this time. It didn't work that way last time. All right. So what happened to my uneasy allies? Did I not? I picked it up. Let's see. It's not primary message, maybe. No. There it is. All right. We are teamed. Have you got the mission? I got the mission. I'm on my way. I have so many ships, Wolfie, that I've never opened on any of my tunes. I mean, I still have uh, a La Serena I've never opened. I've got an emerald I've never played with. Are you ready to begin, Mr. Crumpet? Um, yes, Miss Kumquat. I am clicking the button. So did I. So I don't know about anybody else around the world, but we're starting to see some shortages on some foods, which is really weird. Yeah, I, I, I couldn't uh, get milk yesterday. Um, one thing is clear, the um, all supply chain, no storing. Um, but however, now we shoot bad Romulans. Treat them different than friendly Romulans. But yes, freighter could be for carrying radishes for all we know. We should be careful. So, as I said, I couldn't get milk at the store yesterday. But this is Indiana. What do we have? We have dairies. We have cows. A couple of phone calls. Yeah, we got milk. Come on in. Milked the cow this Thanks morning. It's fresh. Oh, poor guy, yes. This unit, oh, oh, oh. Guys, we'll go help him, don't worry. Yeah. It, I did not see the article you posted about strawberries. Give me one second here. So I must have my priorities. Where did you post it, Ed? All right. Ooh, there's a shiny thing over here, Crumpet. Yeah. Uh, say wait and then run away. Yes. <laughs> wait, run away. Wait, run away. That's my job. Yep. I'm sciencey. I get distracted by interesting sciencey stuff. <laughs> um, well, that maneuver reminds me of a very. Um, yeah, we, we have some. Uh, uh, 
awesome satire and um, and the like. Um, and one author with his, uh, speaking about uh, yeah the Kangaroo Chronicles. Kangaroo Chronicles. Yeah, the kangaroo is an anarchist um, who, uh, yes, uh, fought uh, uh, fought for the Viet Cong and now is undercover in nowadays Germany. And he's uh, totally anarchist, like creating an un an anti-social network and um, essentially um, <clears throat> living at the author's uh, flat uh, for reasons. And Kangaroo and Arthur uh, developed a strange way to uh, always develop strange ways to confuse terrorists okay. or confuse people. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know those um, bicycle locks where you just have this uh, steel uh, band and a combination lock. Yeah. Okay. So by 20 of them cheap, we visit a regular uh, bicycle stand and lock all bicycles. Wow. Yeah. Um, also, uh, German things, when you do a demonstration and like you have to get... Um, yes, you have to tell the police you are doing this demonstration and get a... Um, Yes, everything will be uh, orderly, except when things mm -hmm. goes, go out of hand. But um, so you announce something with 100 participants somewhere and then uh, just uh, don't uh, appear and uh, uh, what the police waiting for, nothing to happen. Hey, Crumpet, come on over here. Or unless you found something. Uh, Did you find something? She got, I'm totally confused by telling stories and now it's like, ah, there you are. So where we go, uh, the other green... Uh, yep. There's a door right here. Yeah. Yeah, and now for the real confusing things about tourists. You know when tourists ask friendly people to take a photo of them, hand over their camera, yeah. and the friendly, uh, supposed to be photograph, uh, runs away with an expensive camera. Yes. That is known. But, um, yeah, get a camera, ask uh, some friendly tourist to take a photo of you, and when he, has, when he picks the camera, tries to photograph you, you run away. <laughs> Okay, that's gonna mess with somebody. Um. And also to know, Kangaroo and Arthur get drunk on a regular basis. Somebody standing up here. Uh oh. I surrender. L. Well, the grumpy lady. I surrender. What the? Yeah, that's. Um, I've received some. Okay. No. Received so, um. Well, well, well. I suppose we don't have much choice. Oh, poor Gaius. He looks so. <gasps> Yeah. I know. Awesome, cool thing. Yes. Build as an engineer. Ogla is a tactician and hope uh, you are a scientist. Meh. <laughs> uh, yeah, so there will be uh, things, um, exploded things, and no um, no accolade for. Um, but who cares for? Uh, we are Nimbus, dance king and queen, so uh, we have that accolade the universe can offer. Or waiting easy, for you, please. I'm right in front of you. You don't have to wait for me. Yeah, and if I recall, I had to wait because sometimes you get uh, yep. trouble if does not accept you. Yes, it does. For reason. Okay, who wants to do the deflector? Deflector is sciency. We have none. We uh, pick a, one of the Romulans running around here. That 
was easy. Main flux cooler. It's engineer that's builder. Yeah, builder tune your visor. And now it shields that's a tactician. And I would say oh, uh, Oglo. Oglo. Well, under. Um, Hang on one second. I have lost my team. There we go. Indeed, same here. And the escape, escape get? maneuver yeah, restores the. Wow, that's um. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Um, it's not letting me do it. You want to try it? Running, 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 running. Okay. Yeah, it uh, offers me to okay. uh, distort bomb sensors. Yeah, we had that pop up last time we did this. Yeah. I'll just stand here and look sciency. Cool. Um, yeah, and my tactics was uh, yeah was, um, discharge the bomb. That was my tactical approach. That is a good thing. Let's see yeah. if it likes me doing this one. I'll run around over here and down here and see. If... Oh, you're already there. How'd you get there so fast? Nope, still um, doesn't like me. Uh, well, I have two legs, and I wear shoes, and so I can run fast. I have legs and shoes, and I can dance fast. Yeah. Maybe you can do the last one? I'm gonna give it a try. So I won't. Is it on this side or that side? It's on that side. Yeah. Let's see if it likes me today. No. Nope. Okay. Abram, we always stream at this time. We always do it. Well, not always, but five mornings a week we do the morning show. At least for the yeah. moment. Yeah. I think when I get back to Chicago, we'll have to change that because two mornings a week I'll be here in Indy, but I'm not hauling all this gear here. Now you can give the saboteur a bit time. Okay, I will go get him. Yeah. Hi, Mr. Saboteur. Nice to meet you. I Let's see. You. you have to help me. Sila is using you. She'll Sorry about this. Okay. He looks fine. <laughs> and now back to the main bridge? Back yeah, main back bridge. to bridge. I'll wait for you so we can both get there. Track, track, track. It says Ed and Mom in the Mornings on KFED Radio. <laughs> Actually, that's a pretty good idea. We should do that some mornings. <laughs> well, yes, Abram, but it's 6.30 my time because I'm out here on the East Coast time, even though I'm in Indiana. Talking face to face. Oh, she doesn't like talking face to face. Okay. Go. I understand you've captured a saboteur. Very well. And departing the system. Farewell, system. Meeples. The no Ooh, Kesto. Yeah, Kesto works. I always feel like I'm sitting at the adult table when we're in these scenes. Hang on a second. I have 
have to make a note here. Yep. A uh, good thing is if your head drops to the uh, table, it does not drop far. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ed, I had to write that down because it's actually a really good idea. There are so many cool things you can unlock in certain missions. By the way, Abram, this is one of the missions that's got some very cool stuff. This is on Easy Allies. Those are top enemy and it has some excellent ground gear. Yeah. It's my go-to, you know, early in the game if I don't have money for stuff. Mm -hmm. It's not short, but definitely worth it. Um, cool thing is, it's a three-piece set where the weapon is not part of the set. So you can pick your favorite weapon, preferably the uh, best thing, in my opinion, Phaser White Beam Rifle, the usual uh, homebrew uh, thing, and uh, Phaser, White, Phaser White Beam plus a set that gives plasma bonus. Kid frame is acceptable and the whole yeah. Romulan Imperial Navy. Yep, 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 yep. There's two Romulan sets, Imperial Navy and the one out of Survivor. Really good kit ground kits that are free. Well, free for the sense of you have to put in some time, but just play for it. Mm -hmm. That's so. Uh, yep. And it's not a, a 20 days every day, 10 minutes a thing. It's um, just yet yeah, for. It's well, worthy of time to invest in it. Yeah, the uh, mission takes about half an hour, mm -hmm. can be done. And it's not. I, I don't feel it. Uh, feel it uh, in any way. So. Wearing me out or the like. It, it, it's just now that <clears throat> I I'm going for other stuff because uh, I can afford it and can play for that. And but uh, that's uh, for starters an absolute go. Yeah, this is absolutely one of the best. Free Even discovered one of my yeah. Even had one of my older captains who is now modernizing and puts it away, but he has worn it for some years mm -hmm. without feeling need to get uh, to replace it. I'll get you about over here, Sailor. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Up, up, up. Hot, 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 hot. Someone hot, else hot. has been through here recently. Oh. Toshio! But that kind of makes sense. Uh, looking for Romulus, go to the feeding place. Yeah. So we get our disco balls Why running. Why am I not surprised the mess hall on? is the one place here that is Rise of the party. Wreck. Party balls. Party. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, if you watch all the dialogue, Abram, or if At you're not they were smart well equipped, they the can easily take an hour each. And that's yeah. normal. Yeah. Um, yeah. Dialogue it. watching, uh, first one, first time. I think the dialogue's really good in some of them. Um, yeah. And one of the best, uh, uh, best lines of text um, will appear uh, near the end of the next map. You're going to have to remind me so I don't jump through all the dialogue then. Just, um, Sanctum. I'm guessing that side door isn't just for show. Oh, side door. Oh, it's a cave! Crumb, 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 crumb. Come here, come here, come here. It's a yeah. cave. Look, we got a cave. Yeah, and, and um, yeah, uh, not, not, no Maybe ground plating so you, uh, you feel the soft rock. Oh, yeah. I like this. It's kind of small, but maybe there's more out here. Yeah, but at least you can make it your uh, yeah cave office. Like so receptionist in the big office, and yeah, you are the uh, you are in the cave. Cool. Well, I can't enter it. Allow me. Computer, recognize identity. Sila, code Empress One. Empress One. 
Okay. Always. <sighs> no ego, eh, Sila? Just... Um. Uh, good text time ahead. Okay. Another secret door. Hakiv was always so melodramatic. Melodramatic Hakiv, yes. Let's get this gateway working again. I come up the back. <laughs> You're getting a little too close to the truth. It's time to eliminate you both. You should be more careful about the loyalty of your secret. Stop her! Don't let her escape! Oh, that is some. Um... <laughs> poor, poor Van Seal. Yeah. Overwhelmed by special effects. Yeah. And now I I, I shot the bug, the ugly bug. We, we know about those ugly bugs from last. Uh... Uh, my favorite accolade. Curse your sudden but inevitable betrayal. Indeed. Well, let's send her back. There we go. I'll just put in those coordinates. Ooh, look at that. That's pretty. Oh, yeah. Like blue, shiny, and walk into the light. <laughs> Abram has a question. Hey, question. If I'm a tactical character, I'm not limited to using only tactical type ships, am I? No. Absolutely no. It's just a matter set set uh, set up your skill tree and you will be fine. Mm -hmm. If you need help with the skill okay. tree, just ask. And... Um, if you uh, go want to go for uh, for a science ship, um, its skill tree is very close actually to uh, good si uh, good EPG uh, captain is uh, damn similar to a good tactician. Yeah, uh, there's some good ones. Ed's got some posted. Other people do too. And you'll notice the basics are very similar. It's just in the fine points. No, you're not a total yeah. idiot. Abram, the point of this game is no human being can play it. But as a group, we can play it. Everybody knows something. But not everybody knows everything. Even when you talk yeah. to the devs, they're like, oh yeah, and well this and that. Oh, but this too. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. There's or I didn't know that. We won't be stuck it's here. a group effort. Now, let's see what secrets we can wrest from it's, this. We actually wrote books about the game because it's so complex. <gasps> you! Taurus. Stop her! So feel free to ask questions and don't feel embarrassed. That is, um, the Auto only one that should be embarrassed is someone, uh, with, uh, yeah, re re uh, giving better answers. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there are so many people out there who know better than I do, and I know better than other people do. We each have an area that we're pretty good with. I, 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 I disabled this force field. Okay, I'll go over to that one then. Oh, yep. I won't let you take me. We need to catch her before she can cause any more trouble. Yeah, first let's Zela find out that the okay. door is locked. She's locked the door. Try to unlock it. Door Zela. Now uh, you are I'll permitted do to one. do the job you already knew. According to this data, we're in the Andromeda Galaxy. You should there's, download some of these Abram, there's some things that don't work well together, but it's individual things, not as a general concept. Hmm. This sphere seems to be much older than. And some things that work really, really well together there's that you'd never think of. There's traffic from Iconian ships inside the sphere. I've never seen um, these kinds of. One sample for a tactician doing melee. Ah, here we go. Uh, oh trajectory God. bending also makes your sword flanking. Got it. The door is open. This is one of those things. Now wait for the next cool text line. Just okay. um, carefully approaching and then let have Scylla have her chat. Oh. 
Taurus must have overloaded the kilometers in that plasma area. She's turned this room from a plasma allocation there she comes. to a death trap. Who even builds rooms like Who this? Who even builds rooms like this? There are control consoles. You know what it really needs right now? The you chompers. Can you can probably shut down the um, system. Whatever it needs, I um, I run along okay. and uh, hello console number one. <laughs> yes, I'm Fraggle. I'm used to cave and uh, another one. Simple labyrinth. I was born in a cave. I know how to find ways. Bang, bang, bang. Nicely done, Crumpet. Ah, and another nice scene here. There's yeah. Left to run, Taurus. Do you really think the Iconians will help you now? No, you don't understand. The professional term for this kind of uh, scene is the kick button. I needed them to save us, <laughs> to turn back time, to undo Hobus, and bring back Romulus. Then you're more of a fool than I thought. You poor deluded creature. The Iconians aren't interested in saving anything. Nor could they. We have to get out of here. It's not safe anymore. They're coming. I guess you'd better go then. If you had only known Taurus, the Iconians can't travel through time. It destroys their minds. Did we ever play with that concept of Iconians the traveling through time and getting more mentally well, unstable than they are? Sphere, um, this, I, I guess this is not just mental stability. So many the ability is now. just that their head explode and they turn to goo. Oh, that's that's deep. I like that. Hmm. You, by the way, are now Crumpet Cave Master. I think it is okay. time to get the Fraggles out of here. Yeah. Thank you. Did you feel that? The sphere just jumped. The Iconian invasion is beginning. Hello, Harold. Goodbye, Harold. It's a run away. The personal guards and servants for the Fighting yeah. not. Run, 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 run. Haven't Let's played the, the episode Brushfire yet. Play Brushfire. You will see that lovely kick. Come back again. I'm running, run. Sila. Run, 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 run. run. We are fraggles. We're good at running. Essentially, we are good at everything. We are talk about doing good um, while we do it. Oh yeah, how is the one? She's fine. For some silly reason, I did a did the uh, big endeavor of today. Oh, good for you! How'd you do that? Didn't know what it was, but uh, got uh, got the reward. Yay. Was it a dance endeavor or what was it? What has it been? Uh, I do like this scene. The oh no scene. Someone it's placed good the to wall have you there. A Dyson sphere jumped into a position. Let's the see, what shall I get? I think I will ago. get the we armor don't this time. About Unfortunately, oh, none of my. Incredible! <laughs> I did the A team. Uh, the what? The, 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 uh, the shield heal on ground! Wow! Um, yes. you know, Lucari, uh, this uh, Kumaki set is a shield heal yes, set? Yes, yes, I used it for my shield heal the other day and it was very nice. But you have to make sure you take the damage first, I didn't take enough damage and... Yeah, but just go there and, uh, yeah, yes, uh, do the little, little, little thing to some bad guys and they do the pew pew and you do little, little, little and finally you are done. How cute! Um, rewardies. I took the armor. Not that my bridge officers ever go any place; they just sit on the ship going. I'm gonna take the other crumpets with you. On you. I pick the kit 
for the Zeppo module. Well, I will come back, because at some point these guys will come back and they'll need to do other stuff. I might run it again. Uh-huh. Abram, I'm not actually a fan of space pew-pew. I love ground pew-pew. But I've learned to appreciate it, because people can make it much more fun. But it is 7 o'clock, so the timing was perfect on getting through that, Mr. Crumpet. Yeah, and also, the, we have the text lines we wanted mm. to have it so worked out. So I think maybe you can go ask Ed if he'd like to come join us to say ta-ta to everyone. And don't forget, uh, folks, go to 2 absentfriendscom to nominate your favorite charity for the charity drive this year. If you nominate anyone, you get convention codes. If you don't need the codes, you can give them to somebody else. It's one convention code per account. So if you've already got this current convention code, which is Lita, Bashir, and Kira, give it to someone else. Yeah, that details too. here. Details there. And I will start posting a list of the... So far, we've only got four charities. Uh, that have been nominated, but we have 80 convention codes, so we can accept up to 80. If we don't get 80 by, let's say, Hello. 20 of the month, I'm just going to add the remaining convention codes to the prizes that we will raffle off. And yes, Cryptic knows we're doing this. This isn't anything that they're not aware of. So, um, everybody, have a good Tuesday! It's Wednesday. Play happily. It's still Wednesday. Uh, Wednesday. Yes, it's Wednesday. That means it's even more than a Tuesday. We got a Wednesday. Wednesday awesome Wednesday. day. And we and everybody uh, stay awesome.